my channel. If you've not watched my videos before, then my name's Frankie. Welcome to the channel. And today's video is our first Mother's Day vlog. So happy Mother's Day to you guys out there for any mummies to be, any mummies with any angel babies, any mummies with many children, um, or maybe just your fur babies. So um, today I thought I would take you along and show you guys what we get up to. Um, you might have noticed there's not been a lot of activity the last couple of weeks on my channel. And I just wanted to say, there's nothing wrong, nothing going on. Um, it's just been purely that Eliza's been really poorly um, with a really bad first cold and I had hand, foot and mouth. Um, and then Jake's mum came over a couple of weeks ago and it really does take us about a week to bounce back once she's gone because you don't get things done like food shop and get on top of washing and all that because you're entertaining so um, yeah I just thought I'd get all that out of the way and then we'll start back up on the channel again and I thought Mother's Day was a great way to start so it's currently 20 past 11 even though the clock says 20 past 10 um, we are heading out to Ashford Outlet today. Um, it's somewhere Jake and I really like going. Um, it's somewhere where we can walk around and get Eliza some fresh air. Um, and yeah, we thought it'd be just something different to do really with our day. So I have been very spoiled though, guys, this morning. So I woke up to this beautiful card from Eliza. And then I think Daddy helped Eliza out with this. Look at this from Lush. How spoiled have I been? So I've got bath bombs. I've got um, a bar of bubbles, shower scrub, which Eliza's managed to put over Jake and I by dunking her hand in already. Um, some sleep shower gel. I did want to try this sleepy stuff. So I'm excited to give that a go tonight. Um, and also one of these, um, I've used these before, this bar of soap. Oh, it all smells so lovely. So I have been absolutely thoroughly spoiled. We have um, got to be back tonight by sort of seven o'clock because we have a food shop arriving. So we're not gonna go out for dinner, but we may go out and get some lunch somewhere. Um, maybe at the outlet, who knows. But yeah, I thought I would um, bring you along with us. I think Jake's just got Eliza ready. You guys haven't seen her for a few weeks, so it's been pretty cool. Here she is. Say hello. Say hi to all the vloggers. Yeah, say so I've been a big girl now. So we are properly weaning right now. She now has three meals a day. Still puree, but um, she's having her breakfast, lunch and dinner. Um, and we're probably down to, what would you say, three or four bottles max a day, isn't it, Jake? Yeah. Not a lot of bottles. Um, she's also been doing um, a lot of finger food. Yesterday at my mum's, um, she had celery, which she loved, and some cucumber. So I just can't believe how much she's growing up. She's nearly seven months old and it's just frightening. So she's got a big lump of wax in her ear as well. Oh, right. Lovely. Thank you for sharing that one, Daddy. So um, Daddy's going to sort that out now. Um, and yeah, what I will do is um, have a chat with you guys in the car. I wanted to get us going. Otherwise, we are going to be running late and I'll speak to you in a bit. now from Ashford um, I obviously as you've seen in the clip I showed you a little bit of Ashford but I couldn't really film going through the shopping centre because there's a lot of children there today with their parents probably celebrating Mother's Day like we were um, and I didn't want to be filming people's children but talking about children we've got a very little lively lady <laughs> show everybody what big girl you are now and you jump around are you a clever girl? Yeah, say hello to everybody on the vlog. 
Say, so, I'm a clever girl. She's now onto her third tooth cutting as well. So, um, yeah, lots happened in the last few weeks. So, I thought I'll show you guys what we did pick up in Ashford. Um, if you do live in Kent and are wondering, is it worth a visit? Isn't it worth a visit? At the moment, they are currently doing a lot of construction work. Um, which is actually probably taking away a lot of the restaurants there. Um, saying that, though, we were quite shocked. We, yeah, we walked around um, looking for somewhere to have some lunch. And um, obviously, Wagon right Mummers, there was a queue. Um, Pizza Express was really busy, and I didn't really fancy that. And we found Spudge Like there, and it was really nice. It was different to the one we have in our local shopping centre. So it didn't come out on a piece of cardboard, it actually came out on a big plate, proper cutlery. Um, and we really enjoyed ourselves and had a really lovely lunch. So we both had jacket potato for lunch. Um, but yeah, if you are thinking about it, it might be worth, if you're not too far, going and checking it out for a day. Otherwise, if you are sort of coming Essex bound, then perhaps wait till the work is done in Ashford. I think there's probably another year, I think. I may be wrong, don't quote me on that. Um, that they've got a working on um, there and expanding the shopping centre. So, but yeah, we've got a few bits and pieces. Um, I think Eliza wants to be on the vlog again. Excuse the mess there. It's Mother's Day. I don't have to do anything, do I? <laughs> I am going to be sorting that out. I'm joking. So, where to begin? Actually, a lot of things we bought were for Eliza. Um, and we knew that we probably wouldn't be coming back for some time. Um, so we've picked her up some bits because she will be enrolling in nursery um, in September when I go back to work. Um, and I said to Jake that I wanted to get her some staple pieces to wear that I know will wash and wash and wash well. I'm not saying that she won't be wearing Primark going to nursery. But they're going to be the cold winter day. She's born in September, so she's going to be a year old in September. So we were looking at like 12 to 18 months that we'll see her through winter this year. So firstly, we got her in Gap, this um, beautiful hoodie. She wear, she actually wore one today. Um, they're just easy, warm wear. And um, I actually picked up the tracksuit bottoms, which she's never had before, to wear also. And I thought that'd be perfect for days out when it is cold. Her nursery does little day trips, so I thought they would be perfect being fleece lined. So we paid £5 for these um, once we got all the discounts, and we paid about £8 for the jacket. So I thought that wasn't bad at all. Um, Jake and I both fell in love with this little dress. This would be more for a weekend thing. Um, this is also 12 to 18 months. We paid um 13 pounds with a 20 percent discount so we were paid just over 10 pound for this um also from gap and also we got these leggings which were once the discount applied were about five pound um so as you can see they've got the little logo there but i really liked the colors and i thought also the hoodie that i've just bought will go over that um and we found the matching top for this was in the sale for £8 and then a 20% discount. So you're looking at about just over £6 for the matching top. You could also wear that with like jeggings and also have a plain top with that or put them together. So um, yeah, we picked those bits up for Eliza. Then we went into Cath Kitson and um, bought her a pair of pyjamas for 12 months. She's got quite a lot of summer stuff to see her through that we've bought from Primark. So, um, but these were 10 pound. I said to Jake, if we could get a, sort of two or three pairs of um, proper pyjamas, that was higher sort of around from 12 to 18 months. We've already bought her a pair from Monsoon that she's got for Christmas and um, that we've put away. But I picked these up with the little llamas i couldn't resist them so jake actually bought these for eliza um yeah these were calf kits and these were 10 pound um instead of how much were they meant to be i think they were meant to be 28 pounds they were meant to be um I that. 
so we've bought her and that goes from one year to two years so we'll see we'll see but um the trousers are quite long but um you'll be able to roll those up and then also as i mentioned to you guys earlier in the vlog eliza is now weaning so um she's got her little bowls we use the ikea bowls to wean her with but there's going to come a time where she actually is going to be eating proper food and a friend of ours bought her when she was born calf kitson little bowl a sippy cup and um little cutlery and to go with it we bought her the little plate and as you can see it was seven pounds um and it went down to four and actually going on the label behind it was more than seven pounds to start with um let's see oh i can't i've ripped it but it was more than seven before so that was also a really good purchase um then we went to yankee um so we have had a bit of a spend up if you guys are adding this up in your head I felt a bit guilty, but then I thought, well, we only go there once or twice a year. So these things will see us through. And Eliza's stuff, I was really happy about. Because um, Gap stuff washes up lovely. So um, in Yankee, we got this candle. Instead of £24, we got it for 12 And it's called Winter Glow. If I smell it. I'm going to burn this tonight when I have my bath bomb. I don't know how I'd describe it. Very much like when you go into the Christmas shops. So not cinnamon. Almost, you know, like that frosty, fruity smell. So almost like berries and yeah. I wonder if they can tell me. I might even... No, it doesn't say. But... It's, it's that fresh Christmas smell. But I don't care the fact it's a Christmas candle. It's a white candle. We will probably burn it in the living room. We'll burn it in the bathroom. Um, all over the place. And I thought for a big candle like that, even when you get the village candles, which are a copy of the Yankee ones, they're like £15 normally for that size anyway. So that was in their Christmas sort of last buys. And then Jake bought some... Very exciting um, air freshness for the car because he noticed that mine are completely worn out. I think I had the cherry ones last time. So he chose lemon lavender with the hope I think that Eliza will sleep in the car. <laughs> um, then we went into the body shop and they also had a really great deal. So they had a massive sow thing at the back. And I have been absolutely last year in love with their green tea stuff. And it's been discontinued. I, I spoke to their Bromley store. Um, I think Croydon as well, I asked. And they both confirmed it had been discontinued. But in the sales at the outlet, they had this last little package. So in here, I've got the shower gel. I've got the body butter, which is lovely. And I'm not really a body lotion or body butter person normally. But I love the smell, the green tea stuff. Um, there was a bar of soap. And I think at the back is the scrub. The girl told me. I think, it, yeah, it is the scrub. So we got those with four items. And then also got um, myself a vanilla marshmallow um, shower gel, which was down to £3.50. Hang on, I've got a smell scale. That just reminds me of a bit like, it's very much like a vanilla um sort of air freshener type smell but nicer like a body lotion i would say but um yeah these were down to 350 and with the green tea stuff because she said that counted as five items we actually got 40 percent off so as you can see on the label it said 12 pounds this didn't even come to 12 pounds together this came to about 10 pounds with the this and as i said this was three pound fifty um, so we did really well at body shop um that's to go with my lush bath bomb later on which i will show you guys once it sort of goes and fizzles in the bath which we'll also show to eliza yes we will so i feel like we've spent loads um jake bought himself um a molten brown shower gel now he normally asks for one 
Uh, yeah. He normally asks for one at Christmas. He did get one actually at Christmas. He got the um, uh, ultimate tobacco one. Um, uh, but this is called Mesmerizing Oud Accord and Gold. It's got almost gold flakes uh, in it. Uh, uh, and if I sniff it, uh, 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 just smells like a really nice aftershave uh, smell. Uh, uh, um, but yeah, uh, these were down to. They're about fifteen pounds instead of twenty-two. Sixteen pounds. So um, instead of twenty-two pounds, so you all have got a saving. And Jake generally uses this if we're going out for an occasion, or um, he wouldn't use it as his everyday shower gel for work. He uses it more for weekends and stuff like that. Um, I then went in. They've got a makeup outlet that does a lot of Stila or W Seven Rimmel uh, Revlon. So your high street makeup. And yes, I got two nude um, coloured lipsticks. I'll show you the colours. Um, because my one that I've been using, my Ted Baker one, is very orangey. Um, and it's too orange for my complexion. So we've gone for... Try and get a focus. Um, this is called... I haven't got the colour on it. Number 42, it says. I thought that they called this like a bare nude um, on the tester. So I really liked that one. That had a bit of a shimmer on it almost. And then we've gone for a darker one, which is Boohoo Nude, which I thought would be really lovely if I was getting dressed up with darker eye makeup for the day. Um, they were £3 each, so I thought they were a good buy. So even room all lipsticks, I think they're normally about six, seven pound. And then finally, I say finally, we have spent quite a lot showing you guys. Um, we did go into Lint and um, Jake did make me laugh because he said he wouldn't normally spend five pounds on a bar of chocolate, but he couldn't leave it. So he has treated himself to the blueberry and I think they're whole nuts looking at them. Bar, I mean, that is a big bar. So that won't be obviously one sitting here compared to my head. So um, he chose that in the lint shop. And then I chose the strawberries and creams box chocolates. These were eight pounds, I think. No, six pounds. These were six pounds. So they did little boxes for two for eight, or they did this one for six. So I chose this one rather than the two little boxes. Um, but that obviously will see me through quite a while. As much as people might think of gold and rose chocolate, I couldn't do that in one city. And that's it. So, um, obviously, we have spent quite a lot. <laughs> um, but we've had such a lovely day out. And, um, yeah, really, really nice to just get some fresh air. We were there. I mean, now it's half five now. Um, and we got there at one. So we were there for a good solid three or so hours um yes we stopped off for lunch and we did feed eliza while we were there um but it was good to get her some fresh air because the outlet's actually outside with a shelter overhead um so yeah it was good for her as well um but anyway on that note i will speak to you guys in a bit Vlogging because I'm literally holding a 
phone in my hand whilst running around so I'm really sorry I didn't get to vlog again last night um, but I had a lovely bath with one of my Lush bath bombs as you've seen um, on the clips a minute ago and actually Eliza got in with us which a few people may have a bit of something to say about it being like perfumed bath bombs but Jake and I took the stance that it's all natural it was rose petals um so she was fine she's woke up this morning no rash nothing um if anything really relaxed last night had a great night's sleep um but it was really nice because yeah we got about um i'd say a good sort of 10 minutes in the bath together which was really great um and she loved it she was splashing about and it's the first time she hasn't been in her seat and she could just free float so she absolutely loved it here she is today we are off out um aren't we say hi to the vloggers say hi <coughs> are we going to the park are we going to go to the park <coughs> we are aren't we so i've just got a last few bits to do um my friend's meeting me now she's got her little boy who was born a day before Eliza in the same hospital. So um, we thought we'd take him out for a couple of hours to the local park. Um, so that'd be great. But yeah, um, I'm sorry I didn't actually follow up on this video sooner, guys. Um, I, have, I am struggling with this pill that I'm on at the moment. Um, it was meant to try and stabilise everything since I've had Eliza. And if anything, it's making things worse. My moods are bad. I'm still bleeding every day on the pill and I'm getting the worst headaches and sometimes a migraine. So I've actually spoken to my GP's office today, oops, and um, said to them that I can't continue. And um, she has booked me an appointment for next week. So I will update you guys on what they reckon I should do next. Um, I've also put a request in to see if I can stop taking the pill today. So they were quite concerned that um, I wouldn't be on contraception, but I said that's not the reason why I'm on the pill. And should I fall pregnant naturally, which chances are very slim, that would be a miracle in mine and Jake's eyes. So um, hopefully they will say come off the pill for the week and I can just start being me again, which is why part of the reason I think I've been struggling to try and get these vlogs done, because when I have been pit quite poorly, um, it's taking me ages to bounce back so um, anyway guys thank you for watching um, and that was our Mother's Day vlog and I will speak to you guys later take care bye